Hello my friends! In this lesson we will learn to create a customer lifetime value dashboard. What is a customer lifetime value? It estimates how much revenue a customer brings over the life of the relationship. Why is it important? It's important because it tells you if you're connecting with your market, it tells you when a customer will become profitable, which is very important, and also it tells you which customer to invest in. Once you create this model, you can drill down and analyze the customers and decide what marketing actions to take. Let's analyze the data model and see how we can arrive at this dashboard. First, let's see the tables. We have a simple data model with a fact table, supermarket data, and some dimension tables, the customer table, the product table, and also the a simplified calendar table called TDIM date. Now let's see what is the formula for the customer lifetime value. The formula is like this. The average value multiply by the average frequency of the purchases and multiply by the length of the relationships of the customer. Now we have to create measures in order to arrive at this formula. So the first measure would be to calculate the churn rate. The churn rate is the difference of the number of customers between the ending and the beginning of the period divided by the number of customers at the beginning of the period. You see here the formula. Okay, it, it's divide the diff customer to the beginning customers. And you see here the beginning customer, the ending customer and the diff customer formula. The active member is here, distinct count of the customer key, okay, to count the number of customers. And then the active member previous month is the same number of unique customer, but of previous month. Then we have some auxiliary measures, number of orders, the count of the sales order number, the number of customers, distinct count of the customer key, and total sales. I will provide a, a Google Sheets document in the first comment of the video with all the code. So don't worry about the code. Now just try to understand the logic. So now we arrived at the first member of the formula, the average purchase value, which is the division between total sales and the number of orders. The second member of the formula is the average purchase frequency, which is a division between the number of orders and the number of customers. And the third one, average customer lifespan, is the reverse of the churn rate that we see before. Okay, it's one divided to the churn rate. I will insist on this formula so you can understand it better. Let's take an example with the churn rate. Let's pretend that we start with 50 customers at the start of the month and we finish with 45. Okay, so we lose five customers. The churn rate, according to this formula, is 5 divided by 50, which is 0 0.1. So 0 0.1 would be the churn rate. That means that the average customer's lifespan is 1 divided by 0 0.1, which is 10. What does it mean? In our example, if in one month from 50 customers we lose 5, that means that uh, the average customer lifespan is 10 months, meaning that the, the 50 customers in 10 months with 5 m customers losing per month will finish. So this is the average customer's lifespan. And now we have the final formula, customer's lifetime value, where we 
multiply all these three measures. Let's go back to the dashboard and we see that we use these measures in order to create the dashboard. Okay, here we create a slicer with a year and here we put the measure total sales ARPU. Here I want to show you another important metric. This is mostly used in telecommunications. The average revenue per user. Okay, so the formula is like this. It's total sales divided by the number of distinct customer. Average revenue per user. And here we put in a matrix the majority of the measures and here we have some graphs. Okay, we change the year okay we go back and we see that the figures change and this way we analyze each year what happened and each month with our customers. So this is how you build a customer life time value dashboard. As I told you, I share the code in the first comment. I am not sharing the Power BI file because I want to do you a favor. You will learn better if you start from scratch with your own data model and build it with my formulas. And this way you will be more advantage if only you watch this video and have the file already made. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.